Welcome back everybody, this is Oasis back with the next video of Bootstrap Central Training Series. In the last video we created this uh, navigation bar which is completely responsive. So if I change the size of the browser to tablet, you'll see at this breakpoint we get this button. So we can click on that button to get the navigation and we have the same button for the mobile version of the website as well. So we created the navigation. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you another component in Bootstrap, which is Jumbotron. So Jumbotron is a flexible lightweight component which can be used to showcase your content on your homepage. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna customize this as well. Now let's go back to our code. And after this navigation links, I'm gonna make a bit of space here. And then we are going to start our Jumbotron from here. To create a Jumbotron, we need to start with the div tag. So I'm going to type div class. It's going to be Jumbotron. And then I'm going to give it ID as well because I want to customize that a little bit. So I'll just say Jumbo. And let's close the div tag. Inside the div tag, we are going to start with uh, something like, let's say, H1 heading. So I will just say my name let's save the file let's go to our page let's refresh it and there you go so we got that jumbotron here right now it is uh, not in a container so it's spreading from um, the width of the browser so one more thing we're going to do i created this id i'm going to customize the height of this jumbotron by targeting this id in style.css file so if we go to our page and uh, we will see that the jumbotron height is not actually what we wanted so let's go to style.css file and here we'll target that id type jumbo and then here i'm going to type height and 100 vh let's save the file and we're going to go to the page and if we go to page and refresh the page and now as you can see that where Jumbotron is uh, going all the way to the browser height, all the way here, all right? So once we got our Jumbotron done, I'm going to add another div tag here. Let's just start with the div tag class, going to be container. And let's just close this. And then inside of a div tag, I'm going to start with the H1 heading. And I'll just type OS Mirza portfolio. So let's just save the file and let's refresh the page. And now we have the padding at the left because we put that in a container. I'm going to inspect this element. So right click and click on inspect to use the Chrome DevTools. And here we can see that we have this uh, Jumbotron and then inside the Jumbotron, we have the container. And then inside the container, we have this ID. Uh, sorry, it's text, Oasis Mirza Portfolio 1. Now let's go back to the code. I'm going to add a background to our Jumbotron. So for that, we go to style.css. And then here, I'm going to press Enter. Let's just type background. Select background image, type URL. And inside that, add a quotation to target our assets folder. I have this uh, asset folder, and inside that assets folder, I have this backdrop image uh, in the PNG file. So what we can do here to target that, type dot dot slash, go to assets folder, and then select the background image dot PNG, and let's save the file, and then page. Let's refresh the page and there we go. We got the background done for our Jumbotron. Now let's go back to the core. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to give the size. So background dash size. And here I'm going to, for the width, I'm going to type 100 VH and then 100 VH. All right, let's save the file and let's have a look. What we got, let me refresh the page. And now we have uh, basically the background is repeating. So for that, I'm going to go back to the code and I'm gonna type here background 
repeat which should be somewhere here no repeat let's save the file and let's see what size did we get so we got this size so we need to fix that so instead of uh, that i'm going to type 100 percent and that would fix that problem let's refresh the page and there we go so we got our jumbotron background image done and then i'm going to add a few more things here but first uh, we're going to add, we need to learn the grid system of uh, Bootstrap. So that's what we're going to learn in the next video. So stay tuned for that, subscribe to the channel, and I'll show you guys how grid system works in Bootstrap. That is uh, one important skill you need to know to actually work with Bootstrap. The grid systems are the most important part of the Bootstrap training.